hi everybody welcome to my channel my name is alma if you want to see how i created this latte makeup look stay tuned and watch the rest of my video thank you guys so much welcome to alma's beauty my name is alma thank you guys so much for joining me today uh today i'm gonna get ready for the day this is a very much needed because i just need my moment to glam up and feel good so here we go okay so starting off with the beginning i already moisturized my face using this la roche posay it's one of my favorites i'm gonna use this fix plus to prime my face okay and the foundation that i'm gonna be using today is the nyx bear with me blur i like this foundation really good i like the way it looks on my face so this is the complexion duo by elf and i'm gonna get some from my the back of my hand and start applying it all over my face i hope everybody's having a great week so far i know the weekend's getting closer and i know there's people that can't wait for a friday okay so for concealer i pulled out my wet and wild uh incognito and apply it on my lid i have lily right here next to me trying to play huh lily okay i'm gonna pick up this brush this one's by real techniques and i'm gonna use that for my concealer to spread it all out I'm going to pick up my Laura Mercier powder, uh, translucent, and I'm going to use this brush right here. This one's by Real Techniques, and it's an angled brush, and I'm going to use a little bit of powder, press into it, and I'm going to use that to set my under eye and my lid as well. Okay, so now that I have my eyebrows done, I already set my lids. I'm going to pull out this that I've been using every time I do my makeup now. I've been using this one. It's the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Styling Gel. So far, I like the way it makes my brows stay put throughout the day. So let's do it again. I'm like, man, I have all these products and sometimes I don't pull them out. So today I lined them all up and made sure that I use them. Because now I'm starting this collection and I don't want them to like go to waste. And next thing you know, you can't use them because they're expired and blah, blah, blah. Like it sucks. I wasted my money on it. I just slightly combed through the hairs make sure they stay put okay and to set my foundation because i haven't done that yet i'm gonna pull out my mineralized skin finish by mac powder and i pulled out my little powder puff i'm gonna use the powder puff to set my foundation i noticed that with the brush it was getting too cakey and throughout the day it just started looking really bad and i'm like oh what the hell so I'm going to tone down the powder because sometimes with my skin being a little dewy and oily, it looks better than it being cakey. So I'm going to start doing that for now because the weather. Thank God the weather kind of calmed down. It's not as hot. Yesterday was nice too. I love the hot weather, but only when I'm by the pool or at the beach. I love it. Right, Lily? And also, I did my hair in a trenza last night, and it's still in a trenza. So at the end of the video, I'm going to undo it and see what the result 
is. Okay, so for this makeup look, obviously by the title of the video, I'm gonna do the latte makeup. I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon, on that trend right now. And I'm gonna try to create it my way. This is my way, not like how everyone else is doing it, but it's close enough. So it, I use it as an inspiration, okay? So I pulled out this uh, palette, it's by NYX. It's this one right here. I love these colors. I usually always pull this one out. This brush is by uh, Wet n Wild and I picked up the very light brown that comes in the palette is this one right here. That's the one I'll be starting off with. And I'm gonna place that one all over my lid, all over, close to my brow. I do wanna leave space on between the shadow and the brow like that area i do want to leave it alone okay so this is what i have so far now i'm gonna pick up a darker brown that's inside the palette this one right here and there's lily And I'm just placing it on top of that other color that I just placed. I'm going to get my smudge brush. This one's by Real Techniques. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to do the same thing I did to the top on the bottom. So I'm going to get the light brown. And place it on the bottom lash line. And I always make sure to connect it with this side right here, with this outer corner. Okay, same palette. I'm thinking of picking up this color right here. It looks kind of tan, kind of gold, I guess. I don't know. Well, let's see how it looks with this look. Okay, so see how the middle I left it blank? I'm just going to place, oops, sorry, that color right there there all across my lid and it has a shimmer it has a really nice beautiful shimmer you see okay and i don't know i just want to go for this uh just to give it that extra shine i'm going to apply this color right here it's like a tanner color and pop it right in the center of my lid with my finger okay so i just placed my mascara the one i'm using today of course is the maybelline sky high lash sensational and i'm gonna go ahead and get my bronzer out and my bronzer brush or contour brush whatever you want to call it and I'm going to start bronzing up or contouring the face Okay, this is what I have so far, and I decided to pull out this Makeup Revolution highlighter palette. I know, look how sparkly. And I'm thinking of using this one right here. I just want to see how it looks. I don't know, but I'm going to pick up this brush. Let's just try it. I just want to try it because I feel like it's going to look really... Oh, wow, that looks so cute. a little bit a little touch what do you guys think
Okay, everybody. So this is what I have. This is my finished look pretty much. Okay, so the lips, I use this one. It's the Vinyl Ink by Maybelline. It's 130 Extra. That's the color that I'm using on my lips. This one right here, and it's 130 Extra. And in the center of my lips, I don't know, I just decided to put it because I thought it would look really good. It's the Lip Glass by MAC and Purr, the 313 Purr, this one right here. I put it on the center, so what I did is I just dabbed it on the center, went like this. I don't know, I just wanted that little shine in the center. I, I think it looks good. And I let down my hair from my trenza, and now I'm going to put some hair serum this one is by trader joe's it's the shea butter coconut oil and i'm just gonna put some on my hand and just run it through my hair this hair reminds me of like the mermaid or something a mermaid hair okay so now i'm gonna set my makeup with the mac Fix plus. Okay, everybody, and this is my finished creation. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. Thank you for everybody that has subscribed, all my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And the people that haven't subscribed, please do so. And all my returning subscribers, Thank you so much. Thank you. I really, really appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for everything. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And stay safe out there. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I think you can so much and great bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wow, my dear Mimi. Awesome. Mommy, mm -hmm. there's a picture right there. A picture. Okay. Say bye, everybody. Have a good day. Bye, everybody. Have a good day.